Hey everybody, it's Anthony here from Nash Tech, and in this video I'll be doing a review of the Optica VM200 Video Condenser Stereo Shotgun Microphone. So let's get started with what's included when you purchase this mic. Obviously you get the microphone, that's the main reason you bought it, you, but you also get an extra pair of the suspension bands in case you accidentally break some or you lose it or something like that, which is nice and handy. You also get a cool windscreen which just slides right over the top, it's got an elastic band on the inside so you just kind of pinch it open and then it just slides right over the microphone portion so protects you if you're out in the windy day or you're something like that where there's lots of force hitting the microphone so it's helpful and it makes the sound better this optica mic is a directional xy stereo shotgun mic which means it has two different microphones underneath the grill part which provide a much cleaner and more crisp sound when you're recording and it is a really really awesome feature it makes the mic totally worth it in my opinion this mic has an NRS, or a noise reducing suspension system, which means you can go over to it and you can push it up and down like this and you can see that the suspension is holding it up. And this is very, very useful if you're out recording and you're moving your mic a lot and you don't want it to be bouncing around, you don't hear any sound. It also attaches by a 1 8 and 3 8 threads or by shoe mount on the bottom there. On the top here is where the batteries go in, so it does run off batteries and they do last for about 40 hours of record time, which is awesome. Alright, so let's take a look here at the back of the microphone. On the left you can see there's the PAD switch which has a 0 or negative 10 decibel switch. You can flick that either direction you want. And then in the center we have the on off switch. When it's off there's no light. When it's on it is a green light which is handy to see. And then on the right we have a high pass filter switch which can uh, reduce background noises if you need that stuff. So it's cool features there. The Optica mic uses a coiled 3.5mm jack so that it can easily connect to all DSLR cameras. Alright, so let's talk about the actual build quality of the Optica mic. At your first glance, if you pick it up, you'll notice it has some substantial weight to it for a shotgun mic, and that is because it is made of complete metal. Every Almost everything on this thing is metal, and it does add a lot of weight to it. It might make it a little top-heavy depending on your rig but it does make sure that it's sturdy. It's not going to break easily like some other microphones that are made of plastic. So if you want a mic that's going to last, you're probably going to want to go with this one. So now let's get into the actual audio quality of the microphone, because after all, that is the most important thing about the mic. And I have two different types of tests coming up for you here. The first kind is a quieter environment, which was filmed by my grandma's koi pond. So let's take a look and see how it sounds. Now for something a little louder. My friend Josh, who also works with me on the Rare Candy Media channel, filmed something at a music convention, and he got a lot of really good clips with this VM200 mic, so let's take a look at how these sound. <laughs> So those last recordings were pretty close to the actual performers. Now let's try something that's a little farther away and see how the microphone holds up.
As you can see, the microphone does amazing in both kinds of scenarios, from it being a quiet scene like by a koi pond or a really loud music convention. The audio is just fantastic. It's unbelievable. I can't believe that's coming from a stereo shotgun microphone. It's unbelievable. So there you guys go. That is my review of the Optica VM200 stereo shotgun microphone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, likes are always appreciated, and hopefully I will see you guys in another video. Bye. If you wanted to, you can go check out the VM200 unboxing video, which I did beforehand. Just click right there on the screen and subscribe if you want to see more awesome content in the future. Bye, guys.